Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm making another video on the best tweaks for iOS 6 right after you use the Evasion Jailbreak. But in this episode, all the tweaks are going to be new and 100% free. I know a lot of people wanted free apps and pretty much our main complaint in our last video was that too many of them are paid. While there are very many amazing paid tweaks, you can also get a ton of great free ones and in this uh, video we're going to be showing off a bunch of those. So the first one we have in this video is Activator. Now this app allows you to set actions by hitting buttons. So here you can see you can select uh, where you want it to do it. It'll make a lot more sense when I get into it but if we hit anywhere you can see you can designate something like pushing the home button, something with the lock screen, uh, etc. Power connected. It basically allows you to sort of like macro your device. So you can see if I have a status bar double tap, I'll click on that. Then you can choose uh, what action you want it to take. So uh, for instance, I can have it, um, if I double tap uh, that, it will compose a tweet. So now when we go back, now when we double tap the status bar, you'll see the compose tweet goes off. Now something like that is pretty simple but it can be used for um, very useful tasks. For instance my uh, sleep button on my iPhone broke and now instead of having to use a stupid assistant, uh, assistant that you get on iOS I can just hold my top volume button on that device and it'll put it to sleep. So you can put it to some pretty good uses. Uh, also putting a respring somewhere is always nice if something messes up and um, that's pretty much it for Activator. There's so many combinations and it's pretty much endless and it works with uh, pretty much every device, every app that you install. Now, the second thing I wanted to go over was iFile. Now, this is a huge must. This this application, it, is, it shows up as paid in Cydia, but it is free for the limited version, and the limited version doesn't have many limits. It's pretty great, so I'll just hit that later. So, basically, what this allows you to do is go around your file system on your iOS. Now, you might not think that that's very exciting, but there's so many things you can do with it. You can explore every uh, folder. Um, which might not be too interesting, but then you can like look in your applications. If you go into settings, you can see uh, what the actual uh, names are. But it will allow you to modify any of uh, your applications. Tons of hacks, some of the little tricks uh, you can be obtained through iFile. And if you don't really know how to use it, I recommend you download it now. And we have it used in so many videos, so if you ever come across a video that you need iFile, you'll have it uh, already. Now the next thing is multi-icon mover. mover. Now this is a really simple but useful uh, tweak. So basically, if you go into the wiggle mode, you can just tap on the icons you want to move, go to the page you want to move them to, and move them right there. So instead of going back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, uh, you can just move the icon super fast and it's just a little tweak because it's kind of common sense that Apple has never really incorporated it into iOS and one of my favorite tweaks uh, despite its uh, simplicity. So the next thing uh, I'll be showing in this video is unfold. Now this tweak allows you to on the lock screen unfold. You can change the variables of how many folds you want instead of slide to unlock. So you fold away and it'll unlock. Now you can do it at any speed. Obviously, I was going really slow, but you just uh, fold to unlock. I don't know. It just adds a little style to unlocking your device. And since it's free, I recommend uh, you download it. So the next thing I wanted to show you is Zeppelin. As you might have noticed, I, I had this one in the last video, but it's great because it's free. So basically, Zeppelin allows you to go into your settings and then click on Zeppelin, and you see right here it's enabled and you can just choose what icon you want on the top so uh, probably my favorite is the cloud so you just click on the cloud instead of having either your name which would be iPod or your carrier which would be like AT&T or whatever you can have a nice icon that just makes it look a little more unique so the next uh, tweak uh, that we have is Dreamboard. Now, obviously, get Winterboard. That was in the previous video. There's so much potential with that. But this allows you to uh, retheme your device in a completely different way. It's not 100% um, uh, up to date on the 4 inch screen, but you can see you can get sort of an Android uh, style device uh, on your phone just like that. And it's super simple and free, so uh, minus 
you go get it and there's so many uh, themes that you can download a bunch of them are paid and the next application I wanted to show off is a now 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 this is not necessarily the best tweak if you have Siri but this is mainly for the people uh, that lack Siri if they're on an iPhone 4 or whatnot and basically what this allows you to do is you can set it in the settings to enable and you have to download the Google application but once you do that I recommend putting it on the hold and then when you hold the home button what is the weather like today? Today's forecast for Palo Alto is 57 degrees with a chance of showers. And you can see uh, you can use uh, Google Now or whatever it's called just like that. And it works sort of like Siri. It's a great alternative substitute, especially if you don't have Siri and you want something to basically talk to. Um, it may not be as good and as has as many functions as Siri, but since it's free and if you don't have Siri already, it's a quick and easy alternative that I highly recommend. Now the next tweak that I want to talk about is Hooks Law. Now you can see I've had it on this whole time in this video. And when you open up applications, you see that sort of springiness that the apps get when they go back and forth. I'll go into settings. You can sort of see uh, when you go back and forth, it just it just adds a little momentum uh, to moving around the iOS device, and it's something uh, really small. But out of all the tweaks in this video, it's probably my favorite, uh, especially because it is free. Now, the next application I wanted to show you is Flux. Now, what it does is it changes the color of your screen throughout the day, and I know that sounds really weird at first. And then if you look at it, someone using it uh, just by itself, it kind of looks stupid. But it is a really great concept. And once you actually use it for a full day, you'll sort of understand what it's like. So here's sort of like a preview. Uh, it'll turn your screen uh, into a color, sort of like that. And basically what that does is it's a lot nicer on your eyes at night. It's sort of, I don't know too much of the science behind it. But what it does is it sort of tracks your location when it gets dark out and it gives that uh, feel of sort of like what a sunset, sunset would cast. And it just um, it's just a lot nicer to look at uh, late at night. Now, the next tweak I'll be going over is SB settings. Now this has probably been the most popular tweak in the jailbreak community forever. And you can have the set, you have like the settings and application here. But how you get it is you swipe to the side on the top. I believe that's right. Or at least uh, it's close enough to activate it. And then you get all these easy ac to access settings. Now uh, you can skin this with winter board. As you can see the one I have right now kind of looks uh, kind of ugly. But you get the point. Um, you just swipe to the side and you get a bunch of settings. And that's extremely useful if you like want to turn on Wi-Fi or turn it off without going into the settings application. And that's it for this video of the best free tweaks. I hope you liked it. I hope you've discovered a new tweak. Uh, please leave a comment of uh, some of your favorites. You can share them out with other people. Thanks for watching. We'll be ending our giveaway soon, so make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys later.